Hello and welcome to a new video about my barbecue controller. Now that I know how this thing is reacting, I made some changes because meanwhile my Arduino Nano has arrived. So I've changed to Nano and I rearranged my board here. So it looks now a little bit more clean up, but it stays the same. Here is my Arduino Nano now replacing the Uno and here is my ADC still blocked in the same place. I just replaced the cables. Here is my here is my uh, voltage divider with the temperature and the, the uh, now 4.7K resistor. And here is my noise reduction, uh, my, my uh, low pass filter with my little capacitor down here. And mm, there is a capacitor, 100 nanofarad capacitor and an RC element. And here, this, this stuff here, this is just uh, my reference temperature, uh, my DS18P20. Right, so I'm going to program this now. And since I have my, the correct, um, the correct board already, I am starting a new project. Okay. I'm starting a new project and I will call this no longer ADC test. I will call this, uh, where to put it, barbecue controller, yeah. I will call it barbecue temperature. This is good, barbecue temperature. And I will immediately start with a header file because I want to have this cleaned up. I want my pin modes and so on. Uh, uh, my pin numbers and so on, they should be inside. All right, Arduino Nano is already selected. Everything's, everything's all right. So, com is also all right. So, add a file, add new element, but not CPP, what is this? Add. Oh, this now looks, this now looks different, right? I will call it io pins.h. So there was already a change in Microsoft Studio, Visual Studio. Okay. So I will define now uh, what I needed last time. Is was uh, well the, the the reference temperature. Actually, I don't have anything. I don't have anything right now. I don't have anything right now. So I am adding this library. This was this Adafruit. Uh, this library I've used, all right. Why well, did include here? I want to include it here. Nobody needs those comments. Not anymore, right? At the beginning it is nice. And I am going to add here my ADC. This was done by Ada Fruit. This is this type and I call it ADC. Okay, exactly as before, and I will also call again serial dot begin uh, one hundred fifteen thousand two hundred ADC dot begin. This is what we needed, and I will now set the gain. Also set gain. Ah. Uh, and I will call this config BGA. Where is the business? Six dot. Now I set it explicitly. All right, I set it explicitly that it cannot get lost. Okay, and down here we only had uh, there was an integer ADC value, uh, and this is ADC dot read 
ADC single ended and I was adjusted to this I could this I could write in IO pins yeah? define uh, temp one equals zero. <laughs> now I have finally something. Include IO pins to the edge. All right. All right, so I have this now, and uh, for my reference temperature, I also had used some some libraries. It was my own library I used. I called these temperature sensors. Or was this DS eighteen P twenty temperatures? This is what it was used. Was used. All right, and. I call it temp sensors, temp sensors, and now there is also a pin, and I've placed this to three. I've placed this to three, and I will call this define ref temp pin. I'll remove this in the end. Resolution and debug board all right and then we had a long i'll call it simply double already double temp sensors dot we'll get temperature from zero and now divide this by 100 immediately that we already have the... Ah, the temperature. This looks better. Huh? This looks better. And we had here zero dot print temperature. All right, this is hopefully, this is hopefully working. This is hopefully working. Let's try to compile this. Okay, it is uploading, it is uploading, seems so. And I get the values. And 900, this looking good, temperature, okay, this looking as before. So with this Arduino Nano, I can work. I can work. So the task now is actually the task is that here. This was this was the the curve I found out, and I made a little thinking. Yeah? And well, if you look close, there are no now two curves which overlap. Yeah? There's this curve. I will make it maybe another color, some weird color yellow bright yellow yeah? and you see the overlay the, the underlying black color it's not exactly there yeah because I need I had some support I only use 11 points I only want to use 11 points to build and interpolate in between linear yeah? why I want to do this because I have already prepared something like this yeah? uh, there is a um, a library for me, linearization it's called, and I'm going to use this. Huh? I'm going to use this because it's perfect for this type. Huh? So, of course, it's also using parameters, my parameter library. It's also using a verbose library, so I will add those two. So we'll add verbose library. I will add uh, Parameters library, and I will add this linearization library. Linearize. First, I will produce my own verbose. Verbose is controlling how chatty my libraries are, uh, and I will make this now binary, and everything one. Uh, so every 
every verbose bit is one. Okay, then I need parameters. Or simply write all in here. Define param offset. Param offset. I have 1k, 1023, so param offset will be started at 300 in the EEPROM. Yeah, param count. I need some. Yeah, right now I'll write in 30. Should be sufficient. Yeah, I will not add names or something like this. This is simply not necessary. So I need here param offset and I need param count. Then I have uh, define param linearize offset is zero. Linearize offset is zero. Save. I have parameters, I have a bose, and I will now add my linearize ADC to temp. I will call. I will call this ADC to temp. And this is uh, what we need, some parameter offset probably, uh, the parameters and param, and then the parameter offset, param linearize, this is zero, and the debug board, of course, uh, zero, that we can chat out, params, params, it's called params. And now, where I'm here, I'm reading this, and now I have a double precision temp grill. I call it temp grill, and I will say uh, ADC to temp get X or get Y. Depends on what I'm adding. How is this working? How is this linearize working? The linearize, it has this parameter structure. You see this? Uh, so there are a number of, of pointers used. Right now, maximum is 11. Yeah? And we have x value of 0.1, y value of 0.1, x value of 1, 2, 3, 4, up to 11. And starting at 12, we have y value of, of, uh, y value of the corresponding point. So I have my matrix there, yeah? a table inside. And... So I will call get get y. Yeah, and it's with the ADC value. This should linearize my stuff. Oh, I need I need here verbose also. And verbose that this this function this get y is maybe a little bit chatty or not chatty. This is written in verbose. Right now it should be very chatty because I turned everything on. All is one. All right. Write this correct. Spell it correct. Uh, I will serial dot print grill temp and I print this out. Temp grill. I also divide this by 100 because as usual for me, this stuff is working with two commas. So it's not floating point because these devices don't calculate floating point, right? They only have an integer calculation, hardware calculation. So I decided to do that in integer with two comma points, fixed, fixed comma point value. And this is why I always divide this by 100. Okay. Good. Now I only have to enter the parameters. Huh? And I will, where's my opens? Here, I will define param linear, lin, la, line, I call it line, uh, no, no points, number of points, no points, no points. For you, no points. <laughs> like in the, in the uh, Eurovision Song Contest. 11, yeah. then I will call it P1, no, this is 0, this parameter 0, P1 X is parameter 1, this is good, 
p2 x p3 x p4 x i will add the zeros five five four three two one Okay, I have now defined all parameter numbers. I did not have to define them, but I like it better if they are defined because then I can write in it them here. I have to set it. I am not going to use my line command yeah, because this will blow up this, this program. I don't need this. I will want to set the parameters. They are not going to change anyway. Yeah. Params dot set param. And now we have param linearized number of points, and this is 11. Is this really the case that this is 11? Divided by 100. It is not 11. It's not 11. I need, this is also divided by 100. Mm -hmm. This some stuff. I don't know. So this is actually setting this in the EEPROM. Yeah? But my, my thing is written in a way yeah, that it is not... If the parameter value has not changed, it will not set it. Yeah? This is good actually, yeah? because then I can program it like that. Yeah? And I, it looks like I would always write in the EEPROM, which would be bad, because then the EEPROM would just disappear. Yeah? And now I will put in simply, or get lost over time, uh, but it is not, it is not there. Yeah? So, X, ADC value, 1125, degree, 23 degree. And now I can just do this for all, and we should make it like that, also here, because I would expect leading. All right. So now I set the parameters. Now I set the parameters. I think that's it. I think that's already it. Well, let's upload and try. Mm -hmm. Verbose. Uh, it doesn't realize this is a byte. I have to cast it. Good. Okay, uploading. Ah, you see. It's really chatty, yeah? X value 9.24 found at index 0. Result 20 degree. 20.7 degree. Right? The real temperature is 23, so we're a little bit below. I will now, where are my sensors? I will now grab the grill sensor. I will now grab also the sensor, the temperature sensor, and we should see both temperatures rising. But I will turn off this chattiness of my, of my linearization. Turn here the debug output off. Upload. See, it's actually nice that you can do that. Grab this stuff. Give it a little bit off. All right, uh, at room temperature, it seems not to be that accurate. <laughs> Maybe I can try it again in the oven to see if this is working now. But actually, actually, this is already, that's it. That's it. Now I linearize this stuff. Good, good. Our temperature measurement is working, at least for one, for one. Yeah. 
temperature. Next part would be then, I just thinking, should I do all temperatures? No, I will not do all temperatures. I will try the next more difficult part. This is this communication with this NRF module, you know, this, 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 this uh, radium module. This is the next thing I'm going to try here. To, that this thing can send the gathered data to somewhere. Let's see how this is working. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.